They call themselves the Itchy Trigger Finger Niggas. The itchy what? The Itchy Trigger Finger Niggas. Hi there. Pricey here with another HD Battlefield 3 broadcast. Today we're on Grand Bazaar. I'm running the assault kit with the M16A3. Uh, attachment wise, I believe I'm using the four grip red dot sight and heavy barrel. Uh, I've got the uh, uh, M320 grenade launcher as my secondary, and I've got the G18 suppressed pistol as my sidearm because I love it. And we've uh, just captured the C flag, moving up towards the B flag at the moment. Um, it's a bit of a slow game to start this one, uh, a bit of a strange old game. I actually end up going 19 for 0 which was really really nice. Which is part of the reason why I wanted to highlight the uh, footage in this game really because there was some really really good squad work between the players in my team here. Um, I did actually get shot and killed probably 3 or 4 times throughout the video, I'm not quite sure, I think maybe 4. But uh, fortunately thanks to some ninja revives I was picked back up and managed to uh, nullify that death and finish 19 to 0 which was really good as you'll see coming up. Then we've just moved up to the B flag, uh, we're getting that flash in there, just capturing that and I'm keeping an eye on the back of this room here to my left, mainly because of the fact that I know there's a spawn point back there and I have had people spawn there before and sort of surprise me. I don't by any means want that so uh, just keeping an eye out down there and once we get the flag secured and I'm safe to proceed to fire down towards 8 where I'll get a gentleman here. I let go of 320mm grenade launcher there because uh, I see there's a sniper at the end uh, or somebody with a tap light. You can see the glow. Uh, so I'm just making sure I can try and keep as much smoke or uh, sort of uh, as much smoke in his lens or keep him as suppressed as I humanly possibly can so my team can move forward. Now we captured the B flag. Now I know the C flag behind us has gone down and uh, that is a little bit of a worry but I quickly have a little look over there and it looks like we've got a few teammates heading over there to try and deal with that so I'm not too concerned even though they've just captured it and as you can see it's just starting to cycle back to us now. Um, it was a funny map, there was um, a lot of play around the B area and although their team were very active on the uh, flag capturing they got around to C quite a bit. Uh, I think the people that were using their NAV weren't all that great because they kept slipping by and managing to get behind us with the tank <coughs> and uh, capture the B flag, uh, capture the C flag sorry. Now I do apologise in advance uh, <laughs> for all you people out there, I must admit I am coming down with a bit of a cold and I've got a horrible sore throat at the moment so I keep having to take little swigs of my beer and yes I am drinking beer because I am a man and not only does it offer thirst quenching ability it also offers pain killing ability as well so which is why I tried to bring this uh, I tried to do this cast earlier this evening and I must admit it didn't go so well because I ended up coughing and everything so uh, I'd imagine people didn't really want to see that so anyway as I said I was just uh, I was just sort of sitting there at B making sure there was nobody coming up from the A flag then I see a few of my squad mates go down at the uh, A flag so I thought I'd push up there and get a couple of people and come back to B again uh, get another gentleman there um, as I'm trying to defend that flag and uh, try to revive that uh, that gentleman there but unfortunately I just missed him by a fraction of a second and uh, just taking up a position, I quite like this position here because it gives you sort of quite easy access to cover both ways that uh, come into B from A it, uh, it does leave you a little unprotected from behind if they try to try and uh, come around and flank you but Hopefully, if, you, if your team's half good, then they'll cover those routes off for you. And providing you've got the C flag um, captured yourself, then it's okay. And that general steps out and fires an RPG. And I don't really know how he managed to miss that Humvee that was literally taking up the entire alleyway. But I uh, managed to get a 320 grenade mill, uh, 320 grenade on target there and finish him off and step out and get another gentleman there trying to run to cover. Uh, end up... Uh, saying uh, I end up basically you know I was an adventurer but then I ended up taking an RPG to the knee right there so it puts me down to 10% health so uh, I'm gonna hide in this corner for a little while but through this little crack in the, uh, through this little crack in the gap there I, I can still cover down towards A uh, and just I'm not really trying to kill people like that gentleman there I just shot at but just generally trying to suppress people stop them from poking their heads around the corner stop them from coming up at least that way uh, still getting a little bit of trouble down here 
switch back to uh, my primary there quickly after getting me 320 out because I see that gentleman coming up on the mini map. Uh, I was unlucky not to get that fella there, but I'll hop back out, get another few rounds off to keep him suppressed, back in for another quick reload, back out again, get him on the second spray, but I get killed myself from a gentleman who's, uh, who's in A, but a ninja revive, there we go again, and uh, that gets me back up. I was very lucky not to get killed by that grenade there. But 7% uh, health, I'm still alive, so I run out and revive uh, Dark Passenger, who I believe was the one who revived me. As we were saying, we're always looking after each other, trying to play a squad-based game. As I say, Battlefield is such a squad-based game, you've got to do it. I mean, if you're a medic, then you really need to be throwing down those health packs, you really need to be reviving your teammates. And likewise, if you're a support player, you need to be throwing down those ammo boxes all the time, because on a tight map like this, where there's a lot of infantry bunched up, ammo gets chewed through really really quickly it gets used up really really fast and there you go you can see me going in for a revive on that gentleman there to pick him up keep my squad mates going and I go for a revive on both of these get both of them I take a bullet myself there at the end but I managed to get both my teammates up and they both managed to hop back into cover alive so that was a win and as I was saying yeah on a close map like this bullets get hoovered up and sucked up by teammates real quick when you've got a lot of people lined up together so you really do need to throw down those ammo boxes as often as you can. Throw down them bro boxes, bro. That's what you need to do, bro chachel, bro chachi, bro broseph. Throw down a couple of ammo boxes because your teammates really need them. Uh, still holding this B flag, reviving a couple of more people. I'm trying to break out of here, really. I'm looking to try and move out here because I want to get back towards that C flag because I know that the progress for taking it isn't going too well it's always under contest but this this place we're in now it's a great place to defend uh, and stop the enemy from getting to the B flag but it's also a real pain of a place to get out of once you're sort of stuck in here if the enemy control both flags then it's hard to get out and I thought there was people in this niche up here so I tried to fire a few 320s up to try and get some rubble dropping down on them but for some reason I just couldn't quite flip the building there uh, couldn't quite bring the rubble down, so never to mind. But as I say, still running around this area, and even the fact that we've been two flags down, because of the fact that we've maintained a decent kill ratio, uh, and we've been managing to drop the enemy team as they've been advancing towards us, we've managed to stay ahead on tickets here slightly. I do think we, uh, I, th I do think we, uh, or I think we are behind a little bit at the beginning, but we managed to sort of pull it back. So now I managed to break out and head towards C. I have a few shots at that gentleman now, and I can't really understand why I didn't get any hit markers, but I pop back out after a reload and do get a few hit markers that time. And we're about to come up to a real idiot teammate. This is the sort of teammate you don't want on your squad. This here support dude right in front of me. He's one of those support dudes who just doesn't give out ammo unless he needs it himself. So I have a few shots at those guys, get a few hit markers, and, uh, well... I'll let the rest. Uh, I'll let this under. I'll let this little bit go for you. <laughs> so anyway, as you can finally see, he finally gets the message and throws down an ammo box. But yet again, I think that was mostly for himself because I only get a couple of clips out of it and uh, it disappears. So, asking for ammo again, but being the great squad mate that he is, he ignores me once more and then runs away. So thanks very much to him. I'll pop out here and try and fire a few shots. It wasn't actually trying to shoot the teammate. I was trying to shoot at that little uh, orange triangle there, but uh, unfortunately there was a few things in the way. So I, but I make it into the corridor, heading down towards C. Catch up with my teammates here. Spot a dude, get a nice headshot on him. Duck into cover for a quick reload. Spot another one and pop him off as well. All the while trying to make my way back down, trying to get into C. We've got a few people here so we can move forward and capture the flag. We all go in. I head down this little sideway, I see a gen uh, I see Pete go down, I look across and see the gentleman, take a few bursts and shoot him in the head, so he goes down, lovely, go around the corner, I see another gentleman on the edge there, but because of the rubble, I can't quite get in, so I hop over, another few bursts and put him down, 
and move in for the flag capture with the rest of my team. Meanwhile, DP's picked up uh, Pete, revive Pete, so that's great. More squad players. As I say, we were really on top of the revives this game. Some proper ninja revives. As I say, uh, you know, I went down four times this game, I believe. I'm sure you guys will count, but I was picked up every single time, which allowed me to finish with 19 and 0. So, this is what I'm saying. I'm really trying to highlight the importance of squad play. It's so important to use your class effectively. Now, I come around this corner, hit fire this gentleman, but unfortunately, a little bit too late to uh, stop him from killing Dark Passenger. But we're both there to revive him. Spot another behind this tank, get a few shots off, get a nice solid hit. And he hops over as he tries to climb through the window, I finish him off. <coughs> I do apologise about my cough, as I say, I'm a little bit ill. I'm still surviving now, I'm still trying to make it through this cast here. Anyway, moving back up towards B. Trying to slowly move around. We've got two flags secure now, we're 40 tickets up. Uh, it's a nice place to be, and so we can move down towards B. Hopefully hold that down without too many flanking manoeuvres. And uh, take the game for a win. Now Pete's heading up towards A to sort of shoot down and harass the flag from now. Uh, Dark Passenger is going to head down with him. I'm going to cover down from this way, head into this little box room just ahead of me here where I can cover towards A. And also look into the, the green sort of tiled kitchen room just up there by where 7 is in case anyone comes through the side exit. Spot that engineer there, but uh, don't take a shot because I don't want to reveal my position just yet. And I knew I wasn't going to get him as he was already sort of popping well away. Just keeping my nut down at the moment. I see a gentleman's come into the green room with seven's gone down. Take a few shots, get a few hit markers, but nothing too solid. Must have left him probably with about 30 health, but I duck back through the door once he throws a grenade at me. But seriously running low on ammo, so I swapped to an M416. But for some reason, somebody's put an ACOG sight on it. And uh, while I'm checking through my weapons there, a gentleman comes around the corner. Typical rate timing and drops me, but fortunately I get revived again. And then I think, why would I want to use an M416 with an ACOG site when I can pick my own kit up now and actually get some bullets because Seven, being a decent support player that he is, has actually thrown down some ammo for his team like, like he should do. And look, yet again, I request ammo and he throws me ammo. Just in case you're one of those support players who doesn't do that, you should be because that's the reason you're a support player. So I managed to top myself up. Hang around a little bit here because, as I say, I was right low on bullets, uh, right low on bullets, but I'm nice and full now. I've got a few uh, 320 mils, got a nice few clips of bullets. I fire one in there just to see if I can splash in one. Don't get any hit markers, but I know there's people here, so I come round hit firing. Don't get anyone again, but now I've got an idea of where they are. I know they're touching this corner, and the game decides to fuck me over with a reload there. It goes through all the, the entire animation, so I run around this corner thinking I've got about 25 bullets left in my gun, when it turns out I've only got 10 and I get killed. But, fortunately, one of my hero squad mates comes in here, blows up the gentleman, and gets a nice revive on me. I believe that was Dark Passenger, so thank you to you, sir. That was an excellent ninja revive, the whole point of this video. So we're coming to almost the close of this game now. 113 or 112 tickets left for us, 63 left for the enemy. There's a few more little bits and bobs to go on here. We're uh, we're currently a flag down, but we're capturing one. We've got one under contest at the moment. Still trying to cover that B flag. This is where the most of the activity goes on. So I'm trying to be a little bit tactical with my positioning, covering as many of the entrances and avenues as I can whilst also look check this out see all you support players look I just switch kit to a support kit just to throw down a box of ammo that's how you do battlefield right that's how you throw down ammo anyway ended up with some weird dude's kit with a weird sight so I switched back to my own kit get a couple of extra reloads see Pete goes down so I'm straight in for a revive but end up getting a 320 in the face but fortunately Pete returns the favour and uh, revives me straight back up and I manage to <laughs> get away with not a lot of health but I get away back into cover where I can uh, resume my health a little bit and as you can see I don't know if you just looked at the floor down there that, but it's turned into a bit of an armory in the corridor down here if you was ever short of a gun there's plenty here to choose from so I'll have to try and uh, bear that one in mind for the future because if I run out of bullets again uh, I've got my pick here yeah again I've become a bit of an obsessive with trying to drop rubble on people lately so I thought there might be a few people there so I thought I'd try and uh, drop a bit of rubble on people because it's always a good shot but come back down to the main corridor, pop out, get one 
Firing a, another one at another gentleman, and must admit, completely misses him, but gets another dude. So uh, that was a, a random kill there, but I'm not going to say no to that. Now down to 98 versus 28 tickets. We've got the C flag black under control now, and we're holding down the B flag, which is where we want to be. Um, there's a few enemies trying to push up, but we're just pushing them back at the moment. Only a few tickets really remaining. Uh, but as I say, this is the reason why I wanted to highlight this round, because purely because of the squad play that's in here. As you can see, another bit coming up, a run forward, get a nice revive on Dark Passenger, another one of those ninja revives that this replay was all about. Uh, and that's lovely. We've really been looking after each other. As you can see, our entire squad is 1, 2, 3, 4 at the top of the scoreboard for our team. I step out a little bit too long there trying to light up that tank and end up uh, suffering the tank shell in the face but uh, I call out to my team who are in the party and fortunately ninja revive time dark passenger comes running and picks me up to maintain that flawless uh, KD that I've got at the moment this round not that I'm actually bothered about my KD but if I can finish with zero deaths then obviously that's preferable to finishing with one death or 58 deaths now I know there's somebody around here because he's just killed somebody. I can see the uh, mark on the map and he just comes sneaking round, get a couple of bursts in, clip him with a nice headshot. There's only a sort of five tickets remaining and uh, for some reason I've become fascinated with this little position on top of the box and decide to be do a little bit of door lurking for the last few tickets that are around. Perhaps I was just amazed by the sheer amount of weaponry that's lying around on the floor there. Just think if you had that in your bedroom closet you could cause a lot of damage. I wish I could carry all of those around with me every time I play Battlefield because then I wouldn't have to worry about idiot supports who don't give me ammo. I'll just be able to think, right, when I'm out of bullets for this gun, I'll switch to the one of eight others that I've got draped around my body. As I said, we're just coming to the uh, end of the round here. As you can see, great squad play by our team, some great revives, some great flag holding when we need to. And even though we finish uh, with only one flag against the enemies too, we win quite handsomely by a good ticket margin and we all finish top of the scoreboard. Now I've got a nice little bonus clip coming up for you. It's not a very long one, just purely because of the fact that this cast uh, and this whole replay was quite long. But I hope you enjoy it. Sorry about my illness and uh, hopefully within a few days I'll be back to normal strength and decent cast. But I hope you enjoyed anyway. Take care. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs>